We got some exciting news, guys. Is there, dude, is this live? Recording. So this is live recording, huh? Yo, we got some exciting news. One of the coolest things about bananas is they pretty much tell you when they're ready. They start to yellow at the top and they slowly just start tipping over to literally hand you the banana. But this morning, our banana plant done threw them at us. Look, and we got a big old flower coming in with a brand new rack right next to it. But check this out. I think these may be, the, oh, this bad boy's heavy. I think these may be the ice creams. Gonna take the whole rack, buddy. Yo, that looks crazy, dude. Oh, let me see a fat rack. Oh, I was about to say that. <laughs> Are we really? Half a nan tree. Yo, I'm pretty stoked. We got a fat rack of bananas. This should uh, last us for a while, especially since we're stuck in quarantine for us and the friends. And we got four racks about to come down too. What are we gonna do with all these bananas? We about to make some new baby plants. We expand in the nursery. Oh, Captain Jace, move over there. Just trim down the coleandra, big time. So, we found some baby coleandra plants below it. So what we're gonna do is just pull them out of the ground and then repot them in some pots. And then we're gonna have extra coleandra plants to expand when we start other food forests around the neighborhood or the world or whatever. If our friends want some plants, just creating more green, greening the world. So that is the coleandra that Moon just trimmed. And you see here, a little baby coleandra. So we're gonna easily, softly pull him, try to keep the roots as intact as possible. Not known to be the most gentle person, but oh, so, oh, there we go. And we got some good rootage, so uh, this should actually plant pretty good. Here's the other plants that I'm attempting to start. Not sure how successful they'll be, but we've just been taking small little cuttings and trying to restart as many plants as possible oh, to add to other places. Try to dig those roots in as deep as I can, and then try to give give them a nice secure home to then grab some roots and grow with his homies over here oh then we got a new plant anyone want to buy a plant for 10 bucks I'll sell them to you I'll even give them to you if you ask nice found it yep found it Got another little baby coleandra plant here. Try to pull it out as soft as you can while trying to keep as many roots as you can. This one looks like to have some nice root structure. Throw, throw this bad boy in the dirt and then we got another plant. This is actually soil that we made here just from breaking down mulch and then composting our food scraps, adding coffee grounds. It's built a pretty solid soil. I'm not sure if it's like the best soil for like propagating plants or anything specific like that, but it's been working pretty well for us to this point.
Yeah, like I said, I'm not necessarily the best or even an expert or even knowledgeable in propagating, but uh, this is just what I've been doing and it works sometimes. So if you do have better ways to do this, um, just leave in the comments below. I'm welcome to learn if you're welcome to teach. have some more sunlight because these things grow super fast we're gonna cut them down real low and then we're gonna have a bunch of excess sunflower to feed to the plants we use the Mexican sunflowers a lot because they're really good at building poor soils and they grow so fast so they easily just add so much life to your soil and uh, yeah, and they're kind of pretty too. They give big off, big yellow plants that attract beneficial pollinators, bees, and bugs. But our plan here is we're going to be cutting back all these Mexican sunflowers and then feeding them to our plants. Our big feeders like bananas, they like a lot of nitrogen. Nitrogen is essentially like fertilizer and these are pound for pound more nitrogen than like chicken manure. Um, so they're supposed to be really good for our plants, really good for our fruit trees, and really good on just help building that soil. 